The new Halloween Easter, a quick banner review. First of all, let's start with the favorite unit, the new one, Easton. Halloween version. Her first skill is single target full auto attack. We all know it by this point. Her second skill is basically blue Lilia's AOE old gauge orb decreasing thing. Her ultimate single target full auto nuke. But what's about her passive? It's basically PvP exclusive and for every dying enemy you increase your human ally's basic stats by 7%. And during your turn when a human ally kills an enemy all old cage orbs of the enemy will be decreased by two could be okay for a human team or a catastrophe team but for me it's a hard skip the rest of the banner halloween melee trash one of the worst melees ever being gila she decreases just her damage taken up to 40 percent for every time you use a thing, single target, charge attack and decreasing all enemies defense related stat. Yeah, it's okay, but you don't miss anything crucial when you skip her. Elaine, I don't need to explain her, we get her for free anyway. Okay, okay, I gonna explain her real quick. Anyway, her passive, if she takes damage, increasing all defense related stats by uh, 8%, 5 times means 40% so she increases her defense related stats by 40 okay do with this information whatever you want just a low hitting aoe and decreasing attack related stats of the enemies by 20% for two turns and for three turns by 30% it's underwhelming damage this is basically just guild buff just pure attack not attack related just the attack stat 30 40 and 60 percent and her ult is crap the base melee or the newest chandler have the same halloween roxy her passive increasing her attack related stats by 15 percent for every same race ally participating in the battle this has a beautiful synergy with a human only team with easton but yeah so you can increase her stat by what 45 percent attack related stat increase which is pretty nice to be honest just a single target hit with damage and cancelling stances with a little more damage and cancelling stances with decent damage second skill just an aoe charge attack nothing special at all and her ultimate yeah we know it inflicts damage to a single target and fills your own old cage ops by two shin his passive attacking a debuffed enemy guarantees a critical hit and oh boy he can aoe debuff the enemy so he can basically aoe going critical wow and this skill is basically red glock's aoe attack so it's just damage and on rank 2 allowing just rank 1 skills of the enemy and same shit and his first skill is single target spike damage so the crit damage on that thing is doubled so he can set himself up for beautiful crits especially with his sacred holy relic treasure thing and his aoe is pretty basic we all know it it's aoe shatter 420 damage ignores the enemy's resistance green gopher mvp i don't have to explain green gopher jesus christ he's good if you need green gopher go for this banner matrona if you need help in i don't know the bird thing or you need a red tank you can go for her i mean she's pretty known this aoe healing passive and her taunt with increasing defense related stats and the cleansing single target hit not to forget she buck tensei on her ultimate slater again a passive pvp only so when this dude gets hit critically he decreases damage by crits on himself by 80 percent for two turns and increasing all allies attack by 10 percent nothing too special his first skill is just blocking the skill effects it's it's like the og chandlers single target hit you basically block everything that is blue excluding stance and recovery skills his second skill is quite literally the red sr slater's skill which is his whole thing like decreasing the attack related sets on one enemy and disabling everything but attack skills and we all know the sr slater so yeah that's that's his debuff. And the blue Slater ultimate, nothing too crazy at all. Just a single target nuke with infect, so no recovery on the target. Pretty underwhelming 
dude. And Halloween Diane. Wait, I just realized we have 11 Dianes in this game right now. How about more Zeldris, please? Either way. Her passive. Every enemy that uses a skill increase its damage taken by 20% for 3 turns. But it's limited 4 times. So you can't go and stack the 20% damage debuff or damage increasing debuff on enemies endlessly. Nope. And obviously excludes that match. Her first skill is just a single target charge attack. So 200, 300 and 500 ignoring the defense. And her second skill are basically red gophers AOE. Quite no damage. And disabling attack skills for one turn and for two turns. Her ultimate single target server damage so you basically have your crit chance times three and a single target nuke that's it so basically a guaranteed crit on a single target all in all an odd skip we get the lane for free eastern is not worth it in my opinion if you need green gopher go ham but for me it's a hard skip obviously we get one multi for free with the tickets and we get the lane for free but you absolutely don't miss anything maybe you collect all the catastrophes or the halloween units or human teams i don't know feel free to do with this information whatever you want thanks everybody for tuning in i see you in the next one as always zeldris for president Skur.